Hey guys, welcome back to the wonderful channel of Wisdom in Golf. We have Sav, we have Moo, we have myself as Sean, and we have this beautiful mm -hmm. sunshine. It's so bright, isn't it? Yeah. I know. yeah. <laughs> So we're going to learn how to use the legs in this video. This is an important video. We're going to be heaving some hammers around, yeah. especially with this guy. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. And so we're going, to, we're going to show you how to use some household tools in your backyard to activate those legs in the, in the golf swing. You won't believe the difference afterwards and you'll really understand what it means to engage your kinetic chain. So let's have at it. Now, before we start heaving hammers around with this gentleman here, uh, you need to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And make sure you comment and like the video. See you in a bit. All right, now, your backyard, three pound hammer, we're playing horseshoes with it. So let's say I'm sending uh, a hammer, we've got a leaf right there. So as you're swinging this horseshoe back and forth, you notice you wouldn't do it like this with just your arm. I know some of you would even try. So we don't want to feel like we're placing the hammer. We want to feel like we're letting the hammer swing from the shoulder socket and the arm is not doing anything, right? Yeah. So you notice as I go back, there's a little mini heave. The hammer floats up and then the brain magically knows when to turn on the juice. You remember when you were a kid on a swing and you wanted to, you know, get the swing to go a lot higher so you'd stand up on the swing and you knew exactly when to pump the swing mm -hmm. to get you that, that levitation. That's right. Right? So we're doing exactly the same thing. So here we go. One on the leaf, two on the leaf, three on the leaf. There it is. So we're uh, doing this in the rough so that uh, our greenskeeper doesn't yell at us for doing this in the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see you toss it right to the left side of that hammer. Okay. Look at that. So notice how immediately you got to go to the legs. Yeah. So let's do one more, but we're going to do this golf style now. All right. So if you take it with both hands, yeah. I'll give you the four pound hammer. Okay. I'll take the three pound. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm feeling the weight of the hammer here. You're not going to go to a full backswing with a full cocking of the wrist. You're just using um, a long chip swing and you're heaving that hammer now golf style. So it's one, two, three. Oh, look right. at that. That's perfect. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I let go too early. Well, no, weren't you a little careful? Yeah, I was very careful there. See? So, yeah. I mean, oh. I can't manipulate weight like this the same way you can. Right. So let me see you heave it past the three hammers. Yeah, I didn't have a, tar I lost my target there. So you see that? Yeah. You lose your target, you don't know when to let go, yeah. and everything sputters. Yeah, I seized there. So let's see you go to the heave that over the middle hammer. Okay. There it is. So notice now yeah. you were able to use those legs effectively. That's right. So if you have a sledgehammer, this is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So everything's hanging right here in front of you and you don't want to feel like you're reaching out with that hammer because as you get back there, it's going to fall behind you. And that's the last thing you want is take out an ankle yeah. with a six pound sledge. Yeah. So you just let it swing in front of you back and through. And notice how it is so much fun and it's so liberating to heave a sledgehammer out there. So notice what we're doing is we're doing exactly the same thing as a ball and a string. Yeah. So I give this ball and a string to gravity and notice how my hand is going up and down. Yeah. If I stop it from moving up and down, then the juice goes. That's right. So in the golf swing, 
this up and down motion yeah. and everybody's starting to talk about you got to let yourself come up a little bit in the backswing yeah there's that little heave yeah so you're heaving the hammer and you're going to levitate up a little bit please don't be afraid of that you're already designed for that right now yeah. now you're starting to experience what it's like to free yourself mm -hmm. from that manipulation state yeah and you're really feeling how those those arms begin to levitate yeah so when you're using the legs to throw the arms towards the target it really feels like a ball on a string so uh ernest jones used to talk about a pen knife mm -hmm. at the end of a handkerchief right so as you're performing that well i could do it with Good my point. legs see how i keep it going with the legs yeah or i can keep it going with the arm mm -hmm. either way if I don't turbocharge this, it'll yeah. just fall right out of the sky. Right. So if you look at, and what I'm going to have you do, Moo. Yeah. Um, Sav, can you go get our um, our lunge whip, please? Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, I'll have you do the lunge whip. Is you got to stay tuned for that. <laughs> exactly. Do yeah. a little rodeo. Yeah. So in tennis, you'll notice when you're doing a top spin forehand, yeah. you'll see the, the tennis pros using the ground to create a lot of topspin in the shot. Mm -hmm. So whether it's backhand or it's forehand, yeah. we're using the legs to create speed. Thank you, dear. So, oh, oh wrong end. Right, yeah, this way. So let's say, I'm gonna give you a little room here. Yeah. Let's say you're gonna toss that over the camera. Okay. This would be more like a driver. The ball on a string was more like a wedge. Okay. So let's see you twirl that above your head there. Okay. Exactly. And then release. And then if you, let's say, pretend okay. you're going to throw it over the camera. Okay. All right. Excellent. So from the forward side, you'll actually see as the, as the club gets longer, yeah. it's a little less down, a little more out. Yeah. Because it's a little more out. See the there's a little rotation that occurs in my legs. Yeah, yeah, right? little, yeah, a little rotate. Yeah. So there's a little rotation that occurs in the legs right there, and so this is none of your business. This all this is working at 40 million bits of information per second. Yeah. Your machine is actually beautifully designed to feel that. All you need is a little bit of a you know a feel at the end of your shoulder sockets. Yeah. So if you grab your eight iron here, <clears throat> let's hit a couple of shots. Okay. You got a ball on you? No. Let me get okay. a couple of balls here. Savvy, can you grab my balls, please? My uh, <laughs> bridge stones, please? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that's a, <laughs> that's a we'll you that know, one <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. <laughs> so, oh, where you go? boys will be boys, you know. <laughs> so now let's say we're hitting a shot yeah. right over the center of the sledgehammer. Okay. I'm going to give you an intermediate point. Yeah. So um, hang on. I'll just use a ball here. Okay. Oh, I got a tee right here. You got a tee? Yeah. Perfect. Put it right there in front. You, I know you like how you like that practicing. Yeah. So. We'll aim uh, yeah, above the sledgehammer there. Good. So now we just finished doing an amazing session. On our premium channel, you're going to see uh, kinetic chain series. You're going to see turbocharging the release series. You're going to see unstoppable momentum series. Yeah. And we're just starting our perpetual motion kinetic chain pre-motor cortex series. Yeah. And it's just, just so you get all the pieces of the puzzle all lined up and you understand and it, and you boil it down into one feel yeah so if you swing back and through above the ball move yeah good so you see the arc moving above your ball yeah so that arc is actually swinging from his shoulder sockets down around the sternal notch if you only had one, if you only had one arm, it would be basically swinging around one shoulder. Yeah. So you see the arc. Yeah. 
Can you feel how you're getting ready to use your legs to turbocharge the arc in that direction? Yeah. All right, so let's see you throw it with your legs. Ooh. Oh, there's that. Shankalicious. Shankalicious. <laughs> so, did you feel a, a little bit tight? Yeah, I, I was too close to the ball there. Yeah. Well, you think it is. Yeah. Now, you remember when uh, you tossed that hammer a little tentatively? Yeah. So, we're swinging through there using your legs, right? Yeah. So, did you feel a little tentativeness in that swing? Yeah, I did because the position changed. Yeah, you yeah. are on camera. With thousands of people are watching you, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So let's see that wonderful throw using your legs. La di da. Okay. All right, much better. Yeah. So when you go from a little shankalicious to a pull, yeah, you're almost there. That's right. Right? Because that was nice. That was nice solid contact, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, we'll use your. That's right. We we'll use your Bridgestone. Yeah. <laughs> So you see the arc in your mind? Yeah. You're feeling how you're ready to use your legs to throw that club? Yeah. Just like you're throwing that hammer. And there we got it. There we go. Look at that. Right in the middle. There what a shot. So be because it's Moo's second year, like yeah. yesterday when we played, Yeah. You had a few awful ones. Yeah. But he had a couple of benchmark shots that were off the charts. Yeah. He hits this. I say, okay, Moo, we're into the wind. We're uphill. The tree's at 240. Nice smooth three wood. You'll be fine. Yeah. Blows it right past that tree. I yeah. mean, you hit that up the hill about 280. Yeah, I feel good with the three wood. I was just scratching my head. I was happy I got to the tree <laughs> with my three wood. So... You get that, and yeah. then you and then you had this, and we're gonna have this awesome chip. It's the same in your chipping. Yeah, I didn't think Mo about that. Right? Yeah. But when you when you're doing those beautiful chip shots, yeah. and you put it on, you put it like five feet. You yeah. missed the damn putt. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I'm still we, learning. We didn't know the greens. The yeah. greens are very slopey. Yeah. But he made this like unbelievable par, which should have been a, a nice birdie. Yeah. It, it'll happen. Yeah. And. You look at the brilliance in that action, and all it was was, hey, you're into the wind, trees at 240. Yeah. I gave you a number that was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then you put a nice swing on it, yeah. and the thing just took off like a freaking rocket. Yeah. So because you were able to engage that kinetic chain, yeah. everything fell into place. Yeah, that's right. But the instant you try to rush it or you try to use your arms. Get in the way, yeah you will immediately cease or you'll seize the yeah. machine. Yeah. So it's like a dentist getting ready to drill in the tooth. Mm -hmm. They're an absolute statue over you. So when your brain senses that you're trying to make a nice manipulation, it will seize the body. It says, hey, turn this guy into a statue. We got to make sure we get accurate with this. Yeah. The problem is both arms are handcuffed in front of you. And if you don't move the body, all you get is arms slapping you yeah and twice backswing and follow through yeah you get really sore you don't go anywhere and you don't have any fun that's right that last swing was a blast to watch that was great yeah, and okay. and i really really so proud of you because yeah. You know, I mean, you're turning into this, like next year is going to be off the charts. Yeah. It's, he's going to go from, this is where you, you get these, see these success stories. You go from just breaking a hundred yeah. to just shooting into the, you know, low eighties, high seventies. Right. And, and I can see that happening because you, you're getting that keener awareness yeah. in the difference between you, you know, trying to place the club and be yeah. careful, watch out. Yeah, that's right. Versus you just letting it go. Yeah, that's right. So I hope that gives you a wonderful indication of how to use your legs. Uh, you need to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And make sure you comment and like the video. Yeah. And so what you do is you go, ahead, go in the backyard and do that. Um, mm. You remember last time you threw some clubs? Uh, no, I haven't <clears throat> actually done that exercise with you yet, to be honest. I never... Uh, have to save that for another video. Yeah. We <laughs> haven't thrown with Moo? <laughs> no. Next video, folks. <laughs> very, very important. Okay, so let me uh, let me demonstrate this. Yeah, for sure. So we see where this is going. 
after you do a few hammer throws, then you do a few throwings of the club. So look at my video entitled Throwing the Club Sean Clement and another one that's called Throw the Club Straight. Make sure you have an intermediate point when you're throwing because there's a pine tree right next to our academy that is wonderful at collecting golf clubs. <laughs> There's three of them up there right now. <laughs> so when people start throwing the club, yeah. they tend to go backwards. Oh. Because when they're used to throwing at the ball, yeah. what happens is the club passes the hands at the bottom and yeah. then flies backwards. Interesting. So if you're throwing towards a specific target, yeah. See what happens? That's right. Now the club's going out there nice and straight. Yeah. So I'm looking to use my legs to throw the club. Yeah. And then if I throw the club without letting go, what's going to happen is that club is going to release me in the direction I want that ball to start. Right. I can't believe we haven't thrown clubs yet with you. No, not yet. <laughs> we'll have to do that soon. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Sean. All right. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video when we're throwing clubs with Moo.